under fire accused of blaming Republicans for playing up the VA scandal. But here's the real story. Veterans in Phoenix waited 115 days on average for an initial doctor's appointment. Official data claimed the average wait was only 24 days. The report also found that 1,700 veterans were intentionally kept off patient rolls and 40 veterans died waiting for treatment at the Phoenix facility. In a recent interview, Clinton said the scandal isn't as widespread as it may seem and added, quote, now nobody would believe that from the coverage you see and the constant berating of the VA that comes from the Republicans in part in pursuit of this ideological agenda that they have. Dan Caldwell is legislative director at Concerned Veterans for America, my guest on The Real Story. Does Hillary Clinton have this right or do those reports state the facts? Hillary Clinton is absolutely wrong on this and should detach from the reality of what veterans are, are having to go through at the VA. <clears throat> you summarized what was going on in the Phoenix VA very well. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I saw those problems firsthand. But nationwide, two-thirds of VA hospitals were found to have been using secret wait lists. Hundreds of thousands of veterans across the country waited long times for care, oftentimes over hundreds of days, and then Unfortunately, hundreds, if not more, of veterans died while in these secret wait right. lists. Well, if that's not widespread, I don't know what is. Well, it, well, and the own admission from the people who run Veterans Affairs, past and present, they have used the word widespread, correct? Yes, absolutely. This isn't CVA, this isn't other veterans groups, this isn't Republicans. It's Democrats and the Obama administration admitting that these problems are widespread. This is not a partisan issue. The VA itself has admitted that it has a problem. Now, they haven't been ex incredibly truthful about these problems and haven't proposed real solutions, but even the VA itself has admitted that these problems infect the entire system. Okay, so from a political point of view, if you're Hillary Clinton, why do you say this? Is it to protect big government? I, I'm actually kind of shocked that she said it because even people that have defended the VA in the past have held it up as a model health care system have, have said that it has uh, real problems. But I think you're right. I think that she said it and defended the system because of an ideological viewpoint that she has that big government, single-payer health care is, is what all Americans should use, and that's what the VA health care system is, a single-payer, top-down system that has shown that it doesn't work. Well, could it also be, though, that, there, that she doesn't have a plan to, to fix it? Yes, there, she doesn't have a plan to fix the problems that she doesn't admit are there. Uh, she said something about sending a SWAT team and getting creative, but she doesn't have a plan to fix what are very real problems within the system, and that is something that should scare veterans across the country when they're looking at her candidacy. Well, it's, it's interesting because we've talked at length about the VA scandal and continued to follow it here on The Real Story, and still we sit here today, more than a year later, and we don't seem to really have any solutions or have made any headway, unless you know it better from the inside, have we? No, the problems, in fact, have gotten worse in, uh, uh, since the VA scandal broke last year. Wait times have gone up every week, every day. You at Fox News have done a great job of exposing it. There's a new story about misconduct, longer wait times. At the Phoenix VA, there was just another Inspector General report that said the urology department is still having problems processing patients in a timely manner. Every day, almost every day and week, there's a new story about how bad things are continuing to get at the VA, and it's unacceptable. There are plans out there to fix it. My organization, Concerned Veterans for America, has one. Right. Uh, you can go to our website, cv4a.org, just to see about it. There are uh, members of Congress that are looking, of both parties, that are looking to fix that. So that is the good news, but it doesn't help when people like Hillary Clinton come out and say that the problems aren't widespread or it's a Republican plot. That undermines what veteran groups and others are trying to do to fix this problem. It should be a bipartisan effort. Uh, they served our country well. We should pay them back and make sure they're cared for. Dan, Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.